Hey guys, so I'm making this video so I can show you or teach you how to install a game into your Lutris and of course also configuring it. Now just a little bit, little bit of disclaimer here, I don't urge you to, to um, um, what I call this, patronize the pirated games, but they are there and we can use it so in this in this um, video I'm just gonna show you the let's say the fit curls um, it's now here the fit curl uh, repack God of War so one here what is that God of War here the fit curl repack so first things first is of course make sure you have already the lottery is installed and wine is already installed so go here to the add games plus here click the plus here or add games I think should be no, here add games and then the name of the game this is free text you can put any anything here for so for just this demo I'm just gonna show you GOW test and then you select it with a wine which of course the runner uh, I mean wine to use the install windows game and then the executable here click the browse and of course browse to your um, set up file i always move to another hard drive god of war and then set up click ok the rest here is not really important for now for now we, we will configure that once it's already installed so click and then of course just click need to click play oh one more thing before you do that you need to make sure that the directory that you wanted to install would be um uh, there's already a directory created here so for this test i'm just gonna i already created this test game here oh test game directory and I need to um, direct the installation in that one you need to make sure that otherwise it will you will have an error so where is now the installer here so you can limit let's just mute you can limit the RAM or you can use as much RAM as you want for this demo I'm just gonna limit for now because I'm not gonna really install it so here for example here this is the directory so if you click browse this is on your um, root root um, uh, directory in which it will not create in there so you need to point out where is it the uh, directory that you have created so for example for me this is my home directory and there you go this is the test game that I showed and then it will create the God of War so we can click next and of course um, install or remove anything that you don't like here configure and then you click install and then see in here it's already start to create and it start unpacking it so this one all right i'm just gonna cancel this because again it will take some time for to finish it okay so once you're done there don't run yet there i mean don't start the game once you already um installed so you go back again to this um game or directory that you have created and you go to configure then let's go to the game option and this game option you need this exec executable this is one of the important things so for example here let's just go to the one that's already installed for me yes uh, this this is the one it's which is already installed or which the one i used before I'm gonna gonna choose the QW.exe working directory of course 
the game, the directory of the game. Mm. This one here. This wine prefix, if you have a custom wine build, like for example me, I compiled before the uh, glorious egg roll wine, which is this one, then you can choose it here. So, where is it now? You games, the close egg roll here. Wine, you can, but you don't have to do that as long as you have wine installed on your system. And you don't really need to change this. I don't change normally, but you can play around. Then, this one on the runner option, if you want to use the, there is already like a default, uh, I'm sure. Let's just save this for a while, but don't run. For example, here on the preference, of course, the runners, you can add the Lutris. Um, here, Lutris, and here, this is from the Lutris itself. They are the one who is uh, adding here. As you can see, I already added the Proton. And I'm, gonna, I'm gonna show you later where, which folder you will put. But the problem of that one is, you cannot really choose the proton here for some reason I am I, I, I don't know so what you need to do is first of course you need to download to need to download the proton GE this one which is already on release you don't need to compile nothing you just need to unpack it once you already unpack need to save it to your here yeah, local share and of course find the Lutris Lutri K K Lutris and then the runners and wine so in here it's already extracted in here that's the reason why it detects on the preferences and if you want to choose this as your runner, you can go to the configure, um, you go to the click here and then you click the custom or select executable below. I'm just gonna show you later um, like a test or when we start the game. So and then here you need to make sure that you click the advanced option. Then you browse it. Then of course again going back to the where you save it local that local share and then Lutris runners fine proton G and then files pin and then this wine 64 because this is a I believe this is a 64 bit uh, game if it's uh, you're having a problem then or it's a 32 bit then you can choose the wine instead but I always choose this so now it's saving there then one more thing uh, later on we can play around with this txvk so here and then you need to make sure that you don't um, you don't enable this otherwise the cost or the one that you put all this runtime that you put here will uh, will not work and then of course here when you already had this wine prefix you don't really need the, uh, to enable this so I'm just gonna go now to the game that I was playing so this is how I configure it so one in here, I will show you later here for the uh, DXVK version 1.9.4 and yeah. And then this one, if you have NVIDIA, I don't have NVIDIA now. You can enable this or enable that. But I don't have NVIDIA so I disable this and doesn't really affect me. And then you can play around with this feed, F e -sync, F -sync. I'm not not really uh, whenever if, if the game is not not launching I'm just playing around here and then of course so this is my settings now 
here I don't have any environ environment variables and so on I have the game mode of course installed so for now this is my DXVK version says so this is 1.9.4 the default one is this 1.9.2 so for example let's just try to launch the game you can see here that it's a 1.9.4 this is on the Mingo hat by the way and I have here the Proton 7.1 uh, 7.1 GE2 so let me just uh, exit this first so 1.9 1 1.9.4 that's a DXVK and it's Proton GE you know what Let, let's let's just make the mango head bigger Where is that is config mm, mango head then where is the font size let's just make it 28 just make it big <laughs> So see here 1.9.4 uh, screw that let's make it more bigger 38 let's see whoa there you go bigger really bigger so 1.9.4 and then of course the proton 7.1 GE2 okay let's quit that one and change the runner and then go back to the default so God of War configure runners then let's go to the default which is 1.9.2 and then I'm just gonna say this Lutris G it will I think it will do some some installation first always check the lags sometimes maybe it will crash I'll see if I change the runner I hope it will run oh it ran so you see in here this is now the DXVK version 1.9.2 and then this is the runner that I chose okay I'm just gonna show you later I'm just gonna show you now the how to put this or change this to a 1.9.4 okay let's just wait let's now just quit it okay so for the DXVK you go to the github page and there is this uh, BKD proton uh, this is the, the other one so here this is the from the the with Sojin DXVK you can just search on the uh, Google DX DXVK and then it will show you this Diot, Diot Sujin, Do It Sujin. I don't know. Then you need to download, which is already the latest release, which is 1.9.4. Not gonna download that, and then extract it and save it to. You go to home directory. It's local. This is hidden, by the way. If you can see in here, so you need to. See, it's not hidden, um, it's hidden directory because it starts with that that local share and then Lutris runtime and then DXVK so you need to save it here I I change this to I rename the folder to v 1.9.4 because then it's easier for me to go to the to my Lutris configure runner option again make sure that this is check and then you need to change here see this there's no option here so you need to type here the actual 
um, name of the folder, not something else. So for example, you change here to um, B1.9.4 um, mm, 2 or test. Then you need to make sure that this is the actually written in here. So I'm just going to change this to 1.9.4, so V. So you can just type here V1.9.4. And then save it. Then you need to run again to, oh, wait, 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 wait stop. Well, we change again to Proton, again, Custom. Then again, of course, that's the downside. You always, if you want to change, you always want to say, or you actually this run runner, you can save it anywhere and just make sure to point it. But I always save on this runner part. So at least I know where it is. Files, bin, wine, 64. So earlier it was the Proton, I mean the Lutris GE. And now it's a Proton again. So and then 1.9.4. So save and then play again. Let's try. Oh, oh it's not launching. Oh, it's launching. Oh, there you go. 1.9.4 and then Proton. So there you have it, guys. I hope um, I hope I teach you something which is um, helpful. Again, if you if you find this video um, helpful, please click the like. And then, of course, um, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe because this will help me out. Again, thank you very much for watching and have a good pirate gaming. <laughs> That's not, have a nice day. Bye, guys.